Hey everybody, okay, so I had a question on how to create a channel, how to edit your banners and logos and some more information. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, to get started, first I'm going to start from the beginning. Sign up for an account. So this is YouTube, sign up for an account. Now I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. So sign in. There you have it. Now, if you do not have a channel, just click top right, and then afterwards, you'll see it says create, sorry, creator studio on oh, my mind. Okay, so creator studio, at this point, you won't have a channel, so it'll actually give you an option to create that channel. So you can continue there and create that channel, and then when you're, when you're done, you can pause this video, and then when you're actually done creating your channel, at that point, just you can come back on, and then you'll actually see continue from there. So, once you are actually done, you made your channel. Okay, so now you will be at this page. You have a few options here. You have dashboard, videos, live, community channel, and so on. So, let's start with uh, your dashboard. Now, this is your dashboard. It tells you how many viewers you got, subscribers. You can get some cool widgets and stuff in there if you want to do that. And you got your analytics, so how much you, how much you earn, subscribers, watch time, blah, blah, blah. Okay. The bottom, you got your comments, your comments, your tips, videos, videos, and videos. Now you want to upload a video. Top right, see upload. Click on that. And then you want to make it public, so you would click on this, and you would actually get your video. Afterwards, when you let's say when you're uploaded your video, you would have, you would be in. Uh, you would be somewhere like here, right now. When you do upload your video, you're gonna have some options, right? You can actually you type in your text. So the text you want, you type that in. Your title, which is very important. Translations, if you want any. Monetizations, which is your earnings, if you want. And here's very important: if you're doing gaming, select gaming, the game you're playing, and also the date which you have recorded your game. That's also very important. So at that point, you got your tags here. You can put your tags down tags, tags down here. So if you go into annotation, let's say, at this point, you can go through your video. And if you want, you can add these little uh, spotlights. So it's like a little box. Let's say I want somebody to click something right here, right? I can actually make that a link, right? So I can link it to whatever, let's say subscribe here, or whatever. And then I can link that to my subscription link. I can also type stuff in. So if I type something in, let's say you can see it down here. I can change the size and the font color for that. Then you will see right here, whenever you move it around, and you can put it to whatever size you want. Now I don't want that because I don't want to put any monetization on that. Sorry, uh, annotations. Uh, other than the video uploading, so those are the basics of it, right? You have live streams. So if you go to your live stream, right? Before you live stream, make sure you've got your titles, your description, your category, which is the game you're playing. You have to change that every time you're different, doing a different live stream. Then you have your stream key. This is the, click here to reveal. This is the key you're going to need to actually put on your streaming software um, to actually stream live online. I'm using a uh, broadcast uh, software, the free broadcast software, an open broadcaster. So that's pretty good. And then uh, change thumbnail to actually pick whatever thumbnail you want. Right? At this point, it should, have, should be pretty basic to you now. When you're on your channel, let's let's go to my channel. So let's say you came here, you see here at the top that now you have your channel. So you click on your channel, you'd be at this location right here. Right? So you got you won't have as many options right now, but we're gonna get to that. Okay. So you can do your video manager from here. Let's click that. Your video manager, you can see all your videos and whatnot, you know, you can go through them pretty neat. The amount of views, subscribers, the usual. So you got playlists. If you want to add a playlist, just click new playlist, right? Public or private, whatever you want. 
put the title in. So let's go. Let's let's, let's put test or something. Uh, create. You can share it, right? And just add videos. So if you click add videos, you can actually search YouTube for a video, put a URL for that video, or you can actually go through your list of videos and just click them. And you can see you click them and just add it, right? And it will just show up right here. Right now I'm going to delete this because I don't really need it, but that's the major idea. And it's very beneficial if you want some people to actually watch your videos on and on and through. It's pretty cool. So you got your channels and then you got um, discussions. So you got your discussions. All right, I just enabled this actually, so I, I got nothing. Uh, about page. Your about page is all about you, right? All your information. You got your links and uh, your for business inquiries, your email. Now, those are actually interesting because uh, here, oh wait, sorry, right here, you want to edit your logo. Let's say you would click that little pencil right here, right next to your logo. This it would be probably something a little worse than mine. You would click edit and you would edit. You would actually have to edit this on Gmail. So I already did that, but that's the major idea. Now for your banner, this is, this is pretty important. So you would click. You won't have edit links yet. You shouldn't probably see that right now. I'll show you how to get the edit links. But you would see channel art. So we'd click channel art. Now as for me, uh, I do already have my channel art. But this is the main idea. So you can pick your photos, galleries. But uh, make sure that you have it within the size range. So that's 2560 by 1440. And it's maximum of 4 megs. Now, when you're creating your channel art, I usually do JPEG because it's a smaller format. It's like the size of that file is actually smaller compared to PNG. So that's what I use, but that's the major idea. So when you're doing that, just make sure you do that. That would be very convenient. And then once you're done, so you would click, um, you would click, pick your channel art, for example, YouTube banner, right? It would upload. And that's that. That's that here. You would upload it and too small. Okay, that was too small. Never mind. It was in, there's another one I got somewhere here. Oh. Regardless, I don't know where it is. But uh, make sure make sure yours is actually within the same size range. I don't remember where I put mine, so I can, I, I'll do that later maybe. But yeah, so just make sure it's within your size range and you got your and the megs are actually on the four megs. So once you're done with that, you should uh, give me a sec. There we go. So you should you should have your banner up, you should have your logo up. This is your subscribe. Now to get these links here, the icons, social icons, click here, you see this little gear looking image right next to your subscribers. Click there. Uh, that should be on there. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, so here it is. Layout. For your channel, okay. So here is the layout for your channel. Uh, show discussions. Okay, that's on. Should be yeah. This should be dis display automatically. It depends what you want. If you want it, um, if you want to just wait for the approval of you, then you can do that. But I don't really mind, so I'll just put display automatically. And turn this on. Customize your layout for your channel. You have to have this on. Now, once you save that. You're gonna have this edit link here on the top corner pencil. If you click that, you have edit link. Go to edit link, and right now you will see all the way at the bottom. You have custom links. Now you get five of these. I got four. Your first one is gonna be your largest format. So make sure you know what you want to put there. I have for mine the subscribe, right? And uh, for Twitter, I got Twitter, I got Pinterest, and I got Twitch as well, which is my last one. But if you want to add, you just click the Add Little Tool here, and you type in title you want for it and the URL, and you're pretty much set. You would just click Done, and that's that. For your business increase, of course, same idea. You add your email, and you would see. And if you want to see your actual your 
your your channel as uh, let's say new or returning visitor or whatever you just click here you see right here it says view as right now it's yourself so you can view it as new visitor or returning visitor so let's say the new visitor this is what a new visitor sees so it's actually different for the home page because here's what a new visitor will see from you on the home page and a returning visitor will see something else so the other thing you want to do is if you're on your home page you'll have your there's going to be options here you can actually create these little lists so you can actually you see it says add a section so you click and you would actually add a content for example live streaming or you know um, uploads whatever you want of these sections you would click that and you would click either horizontal or vertical I usually keep it horizontal I like that's a little bit neat and you just click done. Your first one will look like this, and then each one after that will just continue differently. So let's just cancel that. If you want to, it says uh, what to watch next. You, there's a pencil tool you can see above each one, right? And you can always change them. If you want to move them up, up and down, you got these little arrows right here. So you can move it up, move it down, whichever one, whichever way you want. It's all. It's all up to you, to be honest. It's uh, your preference, your triple one you want to do. I like to keep my recent on top, and for my channel coming in, I want to keep these informations here, which is pretty good. Um, I think that's pretty much the main idea here. I hope this helps out to anybody that's actually interested. Um, featured channels, you can always add featured channels, um, related channels. And your subscribe subscriptions um, like videos you can look at all those things but the uh, main main thing you you're gonna be on is probably gonna be like my channel which is going to be if you want to go back to park uh, dashboard you would click videos and then videos you would go here you click on dashboard and this is where your dashboard is so I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, if you guys have any questions or if you want any more videos on how to do whatever, just let me know. Um, and just leave a comment if you like it. Give it a thumbs up. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope this helps out. Okay. Bye.